Hello everyone, welcome to your English lesson. Today we are going to study a grammar lesson. We are going to study reported speech and today we are going to deal with the third part of reported speech. So you have already studied reported speech with statements and questions and today we are going to cover reported comments. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to report comments, requests, advice and suggestions to talk about issues related to citizenship. So let's start. Before uh, we deal with the reported speech with comments, we are going to review what you have seen in the two previous such lessons of reported speech. When we report statements and we have the reporting verb in the past simple, we need to pay attention to the tenses. So as you see here, we have direct speech, we have different tenses, and you have reported speech. When you report a sentence in the present simple, it becomes in past simple. Now, when you report present continuous, in reported speech, it becomes past continuous. So, as you have seen in the last lesson, our planning becomes, so do you still remember? Our planning becomes were planning. Present perfect becomes past perfect in reported speech. So have already, already bought becomes had already bought. Sim past simple becomes past perfect. Organized becomes, so do you have the answer in mind? Yes, organized becomes had organized and worked becomes had worked. Future it becomes conditional, so will becomes would. Very good, so let's see. When we report statements or even questions or comments, in, you need to pay attention to the time and place expressions if you have the reporting verb in the past simple. So today in direct speech becomes that day in reported speech. Now, becomes then or at the moment, yesterday becomes the day before or the previous day, tomorrow becomes the next day or the following day, here, do you still remember the answer? Yes, here becomes there, this becomes yes, that, and these becomes those, of course, very good. Now here we're going to review reporting questions. You have to write the appropriate labels in the squares here. So you have this question, what are you doing, my friend asked. In reported speech, it becomes my friend asked me what I was doing. So ask, what is ask here? Yes? Ask is the reporting verb in the past. And what is the WH word? So when we report a WH question in reported speech, you need to keep the WH word and pay attention to the tense. Here you have present continuous, it becomes past continuous. So in the second question you have, are you eating, my friend asked. So can you write the labels here? You have again asked, again it's reporting verb in the past. And we use if or whether, with which type of questions? Yes, with yes or no questions. So when you report yes, no question, so here are you eating? The answer to are you eating can be either yes or no. So it is a yes, a no question. When you report yes, no question, and the reporting verb is in the past, you use if or whether, and pay attention again to the tense. Here you have present continuous, it becomes past continuous. Okay. 
So we are going to start our lesson of reporting comments, advice, suggestions, and later. So your first task is to read the following text and answer this question. What project did the students want to launch in their club for citizenship? Do you have any clubs in your school? So do you deal with citizenship? So in this text, we are going to learn what they wanted to launch in their club. So a group of students set up a club for citizenship in our school. They organized the meeting under the supervision of their teacher to launch their first project. Here is what, of some of, here is what some of them said. Amal, let's launch a project for blood donating. Hamza, yes, you are right. Blood donating is a good initiative. Ilyas, could you inform all the students of our school, please? Sara, don't forget to inform all the teachers about this initiative. Yasin, if I were you, I would spread the news through social media. The teacher intervened in the end to say, you are doing great, dear students. Keep working hard to succeed in your project. So this is the text. So what project did the students want to launch in their club for citizenship? So can you guess the answer? Okay, let's check. The students wanted to launch a project for blood donating in their club for citizenship. Very good, you got it right? Excellent. Now, you have to read the text again and guess the functions of the underlined sentences. So here is the text again, and you have underlined sentences, guess their functions. Let's launch a project for blood donating. Could you inform all the students of our school, please? Don't forget to inform all the teachers about this initiative. If I were you, I would spread the news through social media. Keep working hard. So can you guess the functions of these sentences? Okay, so let's check. Now, in the text, you have request, advice, comment, and suggestions in the underlined sentences. So here are the sentences. I would like you now to match them with their functions in column B. Okay, so let's launch a project for blood donating. Is it a request, advice, comment, or suggestion? Yes, do you get the answer? Yes, it's a suggestion. Could you inform all the students of our school, please? Now, number two goes with A, it's a request. Number three, don't forget to inform all the teachers about this initiative. This is a comment, it goes with C. If I were you, I would spread the news through social media. This is a piece of advice. Very good. And keep working hard. Again, this is a comment. Okay, now let's move here. Now one of the members of the club told his friend about what they came up with in their meeting. And here is what he told him. Now you have the sentences here in direct speech. We need to put them into reported speech because this person has reported them to his friend. So number one, we have Amel. Let's launch a project for blood donating. This is a suggestion as you have seen. So when we need to put it into reported speech, we need to say Amel suggested launching a project for blood donating. Suggested here is a reporting verb in the past simple, of course. And after suggested, you have launching. Launching is the gerund, verb plus ing form. Number two, Ilyas, could you inform all the students of our school, please? This is again, as you have seen before, it's a request. 
So in reported speech, it becomes Elias asked us to inform all the students of our school. Asked is the reporting verb in the past simple. We follow it with an object. And then we have to inform. We use two infinitives. Number three, Sara, don't forget to inform all the teachers about this initiative. I need you to pay attention to this. Don't forget. So this is a negative comment. When we use, when we put a negative comment into reported speech, we say, Sara told us not to forget. You have the negative comment, so you use told, the reporting verb, plus the object, then you use not, then to infinitive. This is how we report a negative comment. So Sarah told us not to forget to inform all the teachers about that initiative. Now if you still remember, this becomes that. Very good. Now number four, Yasin. If I were you, I would spread the news through social media. This is a piece of advice. So Yasin advised us to spread the news through social media. So as you have noticed, we use the functions in the reporting verb. So like suggested and advised. So Yasin advised us, object, to spread, again we use to infinitive, and the news through social media. Last sentence, number five. The teacher, keep working hard. This is a comment. So the teacher told us, again, reporting verb in the past, object as, and to keep, to infinitive, working hard. Okay, let's move. Okay. So note, now this is very important. When reporting direct speech, check whether you have to change pronouns, place and time expressions, and tenses. When you report a sentence in reported speech and you have reporting verb in the present simple, you change only the pronouns. But when you have the reporting verb in the past, you need to change pronouns, place and time expressions, as well as tenses. So let's form the rule of reporting comments, requests, advice, and suggestions. Indirect comments, requests, and advice are usually expressed by a verb of comment or a request or advice plus object plus infinitive. For example, Yasin advised us to spread the news through social media. So you have the verb, here you have the verb of advice, then you have the object, it's us, then you have infinitive, it's to infinity. Second rule, indirect suggestions are expressed by a verb of suggestion plus verb plus ing. For example, Amel suggested launching a project for blood donating. So you have suggested and you have verb plus ing for. Negative comments, requests, etc., are usually reported by a not plus infinitive. For example, Sarah told us not to forget to inform all the teachers about that initiative. So these are the rules. Now pay attention while you are putting sentences into reported speech to use them. Okay, so you need to match these sentences in direct speech with their reported form. So here you have reported form. A, she advised us to contact some sponsors. B, he told us to get ready. C, she suggested organizing a donation party. D, she told us not to forget to write a report about it. And E, he asked me to help him fill in that form. So here you have the sentences into report in the indirect speech. You need to match them with their reported form. Number one, Jinan, why don't we organize a donation party? So number one goes with which 
letter. Can you guess? Okay, so it goes with a C. She suggested organizing a donation party. So here again you have reporting verb and verb plus ing. Number two, Nuha, I think you should contact some sponsors. Number two goes with, can you guess? Yes, it goes with A. She advised us to contact some sponsors. Again, here you have advice and you have two infinitives. Yusuf, would you help me fill in this form, please? So number three goes with, yes, we are left with B, B, D, and E. So it goes with E. He asked me to help him fill in that form. Number four, the headmaster, get ready. So does it go with B or D? Yes, it goes with B. He told us to get ready. And number five, the teacher. Don't forget to write a report about it. Yes, it goes with D. She told us not to forget to write a report about it. Again, you have a negative comment. Don't forget to use a not plus two infinitive. Very good. So now you need to apply what you have learned in this lesson. So you are asked to rewrite the following sentences into reported speech. Number one, sit here and stay still. The mother ordered her child. Number two, could you open the window please? She asked me. Number three, if I were you, I wouldn't spend too much time watching TV. She advised me. Number four, why don't we go out for a walk? She, he suggested. And number five, don't forget to do your homework. The teacher told us. So can you put these sentences into reported speech. Okay, did you find the answer for number one? Yes, so sit here and stay still. Let's check your answer. The mother ordered her child, now this is an order, the mother ordered her child and after order we use to infinitive. So the mother ordered her child sit, it becomes to sit there and stay still. We have here, here becomes there. Sit, we use two infinitives. So the mother ordered her child to sit there and stay still. Number two, could you open the window please? Now do you still remember the function of this sentence? Yes, it's a request. So she asked me to open the window. When you have a verb of request, we use again two infinitive. Number three, if I were you, I wouldn't spend too much time watching TV. She advised me, this is advice. So she advised me to do what? But here, pay attention, you have negative form. So it, she advised me not to spend too much time watching TV. You have the negative, use not, and use to infinitive. Number four, why don't we go out for a walk? This is a suggestion. So when we make a suge suggestion, we use verb plus ing form. So he suggested, going out for a walk. But we can also have other forms, like he suggested that we should go out for a walk. This is another form that we can use when reporting suggestions. And we can also say he suggested we go out for a walk. So these are forms that you can use when reporting a suggestion. And number five, don't forget to do your homework. Now, 
as we have done in number three, a negative, negative four, here you have also a negative comment. So the teacher told us not to forget to do our homework. It's your homework, but because we have us, your becomes our, okay? Now that's excellent. Now let's move to the final task. Now in this final task, you need to re rewrite the following sentences into reported speech, but you need to apply what you have learned in the three lessons of reported speech. Reporting statements, reporting questions, and reporting comments. So let's do it. Number one, students all throughout Morocco can follow their lessons online, the minister said. Number two, stay at home. The policeman ordered the young man. Number three, if I were in your shoes, I would start playing sport. She advised me. Number four, do we have enough time to get prepared for the competition? He asked. Number five, where did he spend his holiday? They asked. So please put these sentences into reported speech. Okay, can we check? Yes, so let's check your answer. Now here, students all throughout Morocco can follow their lessons. This is, is it a statement, a question or a comment? It's a statement. So, and we have the reporting verb in the past. So when we have the reporting verb in the past, we change the tense, pronouns, and time and place expression. So here we say the minister said that all students, that students all throughout Morocco could follow their lessons online. Here you have can in the present simple, it becomes could. Okay, number two, stay at home. This is an order. The policeman ordered the young man. So after order, what do you use? Do you still remember the rule? Yes, you use to infinity. So the policeman ordered the young man to stay at home. Number three, if I were in your shoes, I would start playing sport. This is advice. So she advised me. Again, with advice, you also use to infinity. So she advised me to do what? She advised me to start, here is the verb, so you put it with two infinitive to start playing sport. Number four, do we have enough time to get prepared for the competition? This is a question, but is it a WH question or a yes, no question? Now, how can you answer this? You can answer either by saying yes or no. So it's a yes, no question. And when we have yes, no question, we use if or whether, very good. So, do we have enough time to get prepared for the competition? He asked if we had enough time to get prepared for the competition, or he asked whether we had time, we had enough time to get prepared for the competition. Here, you have has, you have present simple. The reporting verb is in the past simple, so you change present simple to past simple. You need to respect the changes in the tenses. Where did he spend his holiday? This is a WH question and when you put a WH question into reported speech, you need to keep the WH word. They asked where he had spent his holiday. Did you get it right? So here you have did he spend which tense? Past simple, it becomes past perfect. And of course, you keep the WH word, okay? okay? So, this is your homework for today. Now, the coordinating, sorry, the coordinator of the club for citizenship in your school informed you about the actions you have to take to initiate your project. 
report what he told you to your classmates. So this is your homework. Think of all the actions that your co coordinator has said or may say about what you have to do for your club for citizenship. Write all the sentences, then report them to your classmates. And make sure to use the rules that you have learned for reporting statements, reporting questions, and reporting comments. This is all for today. Thank you for your kind attention. Take care of yourselves, stay at home, and be careful. Good luck. Goodbye.